After weeks of speculation, Miles Bridges is remaining in Charlotte. Three years, $75 million, $25 million annually. Regardless of what happens with Miles Bridges, even if he sticks around long term or if he doesn't, they can trade his contract down the road. He came back after, obviously, the off the field issues. I'm not, you guys can make your own decision about how you want to regard him as a person. But after a year off, he came back, averaged 21 points, seven half rebounds, three and a half assists, and shot about like 35% from three and 45% from the field. He's a guy who can play multiple positions. And for a, a Hornet squad that has Charles Lee, this is a team, Lamelo, Brandon Miller, Miles Bridges, like that's a good core three in my opinion. And then you, you throw in Grant Williams, Mark Williams, Nick Richards, Josh Green, Cody Martin, Trey Mann, Vasi Vasi Misic. Like that's a good ten man rotation. They draft they drafted Dijon this year. Last year they had Nick Smith. They also have KJ Simpson. But I look at this and I think. All right. Like, I think Charlotte's choosing continuity, but with actual decent basketball players, ones that you can look at them and be like, okay, these are NBA players. And me, I feel like for a while, a big problem with Charlotte was they didn't have NBA players on the floor. So to me, I think that was holding them back and hopefully they fired their like medical staff and they have a new medical staff so hopefully Lamelo ball can be healthy i feel like that's another key thing but just having miles bridges a guy who's a borderline all-star there i just think makes this team actually feasible to have us a, a pretty big jump if they wanted to next season but besides that i want to hear your guys' opinions do you think that that deal's smaller than i thought he was gonna get four years to be honest uh, 120 million but i undervalued it tbh and yeah i think charlotte hornets resign miles bridges three years 75 million is a steal for a player it could be an all-star like this could be a contract that we look back in a few years and we're like this is highway robbery but yeah that's like my two cents on this i don't know if you guys had anything else you wanted to add if you did let me hear your thoughts in the comments we've been waiting for this saga to be solved and it seems like it finally is so kudos to charlotte